Ladies Whoa. and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back. I can't believe you opened the Frosty, by the way. It's welcome, fucking melting. Welcome back. It's another edition here. Happy New Year, Bob. Oh, Happy New Year, boys. Really dumb show. Man, it looks New like Year. he's still celebrating the ball drop. Yeah, this guy, <laughs> uh, Mikey, are you ever gonna are you ever gonna return to work at all? Yeah, I got to go back tomorrow, but the anxiety levels are they're, through, they're they've never been higher. They've yeah. never been higher. I feel like Rocky <laughs> In Rocky Three, when he's on the beach with Adrian Joe, and he's like, "You want to know? I'm afraid. I'm afraid. Okay, I'm afraid." I know that scene like, too. I, I'm I can just get crawling up. That. I'm crawling up on the couch. I haven't hey, moved in days. What did he do? He went on to have his biggest win of all. Yeah. Time. Well, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to bounce back. You, if you anybody always... can bounce back, Mikey V can bounce back, and it's Thank been a rough Joe. patch to the start of of the new year for the poor man. I, by the way, Bob, I didn't even message him after the Ohio State game because I. I, Bob, you said you felt it. I can't imagine. Well, uh, I mean, look, I we've all been together on some really rough losses for our teams. Joe, I think the worst I've ever seen you down was the Packers losing to Sam Fran in the in the playoffs. That you were down bad. You heard me scream like a child when the Yankees <laughs> gave up that run against the. Uh, I think it was the Indians. I screamed yeah. like a child. I threw a temper tantrum. Mikey V's Ohio State Buckeyes losing in the fashion that they did, bro. I was hurting for this guy. So, I mean, we were texting each other every snap back and forth the whole way. And to watch them go to, I didn't even message him. I'm going to tell you, Bob, sorry to interject. I tell you what the beginning of the end was. And I know he's not going to want to hear it, but our dear friend, Grill Guy. Grill Guy. Needs to be held accountable. And, and Mikey V, I said this to you, Bob. That if was, that, that was, was me, that was bad. If that was me who sent that text, Mikey <laughs> V would have pounced on me. That was, that was so bad. Like nobody, Bob. You got to share what happened because I, I think it had something to do with it. Tutsi was saying that the Buckeyes prior, the week prior, was saying that the Buckeyes were going to get dismantled, that they were going to get slaughtered in the group chat, which of course got a rise as well out of Bear Down, but. Grill guy, our dear friend, to look him up on Instagram. He's fucking hysterical. Um, message to group chat when the Buckeyes went up 21 7. Grill guy messaged into the group chat and did like the wide eyes, like um, com- in, re- in response to Cold Cut's thing a week before. Basically, long story short, completely mushing the Buckeyes. Yes. It was only 21 7. It was early. And then even Mikey texted me right when that happened. He said, what, what is he doing? He <laughs> can't do that. Yeah, it was so early. And Mikey tried to say, it was early. It was, early. It was early. premature. It was way, way early. too early. Way early. It was way hey, too- but listen, they had a two score lead the whole game. Basically. Um, they answer every time Georgia did something, they had an answer. I thought when they scored the touchdown before halftime, I was like, all right, like they're 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 in like they're here to play like when they went up 21 7 i've seen that before and then they you know a team gets their doors blown off but when they answered before halftime to take the lead again i was like okay this is their game this is their game and it was the whole way until the end the fourth down call when kirby smart called a timeout on the fourth down punt fake that ryan day called right before they snapped it they would have gotten it that was the play, and Marvin Harrison Jr. getting knocked out of the game in the overturn targeting call. Those two plays, to me, were the plays that changed the course of that football game. Uh, and uh, I never in my life, and I said to Holly, as things were developing, I was like, this field goal attempt is going to happen simultaneously with the ball dropping, and the ball was kicked in the year 2022 and literally missed the uprights in the year 2023 at the exact moment I was on my knees in the cave with a, group, with a group of people here, a group of people trying to watch the the ball drop on the bar TV behind me. I got the, the the game on the big screen TV, and I'm on my knees, and I I I just looked at my wife, and I, I literally it felt like someone ripped my soul through my fucking. Did you chest. still manage to give her the New Year's kiss? Yes. yes. Well, well you did. At, the- so after they missed the field goal, probably the worst in, kiss of her life. But you went in for the kiss from, from like I mean I didn't have my A game. That was like a like a two out of ten kiss. And did me. you just go with like a peck? Like were you it just? Heavy, you I tried my damnedest to put my heart into it, but my heart had been ripped out through my fucking chest. So it was, By the way, it was you know, tough. the thing is, 
is the kick was so bad. It, didn't it was so chance. bad. It was such a shame. It was and you know like what? Looking and missed last second. Noah, like- Noah Ruggles has been such a good <laughs> kicker for them for so long. And when it went right off his foot, I mean, like, Jesus, like, no drama at all. But I don't know what's better that he missed it like that. Like, if he had kicked it and it doinked off the upright, like what happened to the Bears a couple of years ago, if I got another <laughs> doink, I probably would have fucking, you probably, I, I would have been on a milk carton, bro. <laughs> so true. I mean, to. To think that it was kicked in 2022, it was missed by 2023, oh, oh, and then Mikey so B going good. in for that New Year's kiss. Everybody's screaming Happy uh, New Year's, and was uh, and they were hosting Bob. He must uh, have had dude, people in the house. It was just brutal. <laughs> and now I, I haven't showered and I haven't stopped eating since. He hasn't showered, and by the way, he has been on. <laughs> look, Mikey V keeps himself together, as we all know, and he's very disciplined. I think it's safe to say, Mikey, and I'm not putting you on the spot, that no, no, go he has gone on a one week. I've gone, oh, off, I've gone off the fucking rails. I've gone <laughs> off the really, fucking rails. Really? I've really? gone off the wagon. I'll put, it, I'll put it to you this way. Last night, I unnecessarily watched the Twilight Zone until 3 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I got up to drive my son to school. Um, and then proceeded to go onto the couch, wrap myself in a blanket, and take a three-hour nap. Oh, that's yeah. how it's been going for me. Yeah. After eating a bowl of Apple Jacks. Well, it, and it, with that, Bob's got a yeah. Nice yeah, well, Bob knows what he's doing. He's feeding the beast right now because he yeah, knows I, I'm not going to say no. I I sure am, and I've wanted to do this for some time, and I I really do. I think it's an awesome, um, awesome way to start the show here because Mikey V did make a comment, I believe that. One of my favorite episodes is when Mikey V, we gave him the three chicken sandwiches. We yes. did the Popeyes, Burger King, and then Wendy's as the other one. Or was it Chick fil A? Uh, Popeyes. Was no. it Chick fil A? It was the third? No, it was Popeye. There was no Chick fil A available. It was Popeyes, Burger King, um... Wendy's. Wendy's. Yep. Yeah. That was it. And, yeah. Popeyes, and Wendy's, Burger King. I loved it. I thought it was a right. So one of my favorite things to do is when Mikey V reviews food. Now, what he said to me, to me and you, Joe, on this show was that Wendy's came out with the new um, Italian chicken parmesan yeah. sandwich, and Mikey V that said terrible. that he would. It looked awful. He said that he would never, ever have it. He would never try it. So naturally, so I ordered it. I, I <laughs> post made. Now, Mikey, let's show you. Mikey's going to be reviewing this chicken sandwich here today. Bob, you sent him half a Wendy's too, by the way. Let's this is this is this bag. is the this is the bill. Yeah, read what I said to you, Mikey V, because I want you to try a couple things from the yeah, Wendy's. just got to make sure my address isn't on here, because, you know, some people are fucking crazy. All That's right, true. it's not on there. Um, okay, here's the, here's the here's the receipt. Read it 40, all, Mikey. 40 $45 in fucking Wendy's. <laughs> and by the way, that's, a media, that's a medium, before delivery. That's medium true. chocolate Frosty. I, I, I requested the Frosty, so yeah, that's, yeah. that's a green light item. <laughs> The fact that Bob has to get me Coke and not Diet Coke is absolutely ridiculous. Like, I need to consume this. Look at the size of this Coca-Cola. Like, what am I going to do? Not drink it? But look at this. is a medium. That's the size medium. of my head. Parmesan Caesar salad, bro. Like, <laughs> I, 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 typical Bob orders the Caesar salad. Like, I have no interest in that. A crispy chicken sandwich. Now, here's the like Italian... Italian mozzarella... Now, it's listed as a cheeseburger. Italian mozzarella cheeseburger. What is that? That's a problem. No, That's it's a, a problem. Sandwich. I it. hope so. I hope I didn't get the wrong one. I mean, so I sent them half the menu. If I didn't get the one right thing, but I think I got you a chicken sandwich as is. You did, yes, yes. And that's different from the Italian. Uh, I don't. Maybe it's maybe it's not because how I, I don't know. Maybe it's not. But Bob uh, spared no expense here, adding the wow. premium bun. Premium add bun. premium bun for seventy five. Did you not get him a pretzel too? Yeah, a ten piece nugget. Barbecue and honey mustard dipping sauce, which is that's that's, that's very thoughtful. By the bacon, way, Bob, uh, you know what, Bob? Fuck you, baconator fries, bro. Well, <laughs> well I like them. I Bob's want you favorite. to try. It is one of my favorites. So yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm sure it's try delicious, those. Bob. But one of my okay. favorite things that Mikey V does is when he reviews. Oh, he oh well, there's a medium have. fries too. So there we go. <laughs> I wanted to give you the regular, Thanks, yeah, Bob. the regular <laughs> fry in there. Now, I, I'm a little worried that I got the wrong thing, but this is going to be the ultimate. Um, Wendy sandwich reveal. He said that he would never do it, and and here he is. Right and here. by the way, Wendy might be watching. This is that's absolutely true. But I the love thing Wendy. With Mikey V. You know, even though he wants that sponsorship, if he needs to bury him, he's gonna bury him. He's gonna he's gonna lay it on. What is this, what was a chocolate chip cookie? 
Yeah, I got Come a cookie on. as well. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, it's a nice looking cookie. Because after, there, because after Christmas, all you need is a fucking another cookie. This is uh, <laughs> okay, this is go. the regular chicken sandwich. This is a regular chicken sandwich. I'm worried sandwich. about this. I, I, no, I'm... no, I think you're good, Bob. I think you're good. I mean, it literally says cheeseburger. That's a problem. It's so concerning. The mozzarella one is... is, is it's got to be, right? They wouldn't put that... It might just that... be bad programming on the, on the coating. Well, that's a problem out of Wendy's. They seal these things up, I got to tell you. Now, the only thing I'm worried about... I'm Bobby breathing Ford. heavy opening the bag. That's the state I'm in right now. <laughs> okay, I think, this is, I think this is... Oh, it. that looks probably... I hope it's the right one. This is a... This is... What the fuck is this? Oh, boy. This, this is, is a, 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 a pretzel pub? Oh, yeah, I added that in, too. No, I added... That's an additional one. That's not the... That's... I added that oh, in this there. is a, got bacon and fucking cheese all over well, it, I'm man. curious how it that tastes. That looks good. I, yeah, I think it looks good, yeah, it too. it looks good. I'm going to have to go see a fucking cardiologist after we're <laughs> recording the pod. <laughs> I'm wondering... This, is, this what, has got to be it. That, yeah, gotta that's got to be it. This ain't right chicken. There. This is wrapped in a hamburger wrapper. Oh, no. Yeah, Bob dropped the ball. This is a this is a double cheeseburger. Wait, oh no, there is a piece of chicken on top of it. What the what? fuck is this? Is not yeah. it, dude. This is bro. This is the most absurd fat fucking <laughs> slob sandwich I've ever. Wait, wait, let me see what. Man. What are we working? Wow! <laughs> Come on, really man! Nice. It's a chicken parm sandwich on top of a double cheeseburger. What did you order him a Frankenstein of a burger sandwich? I didn't even. <laughs> Bob, Bob, had to, Bob had to modify that. I've no, never I, that I, Joe, I swear to you, I Fuck did you not. Have you ever I mean, seen that? Listen, I've never seen no, that. No, and I mean, this is, this is, look at this. <laughs> and it actually holds true to Bear Down's hand. We'll go to show you just how big that fucking thing is. Uh, did you modify it? Did you tell them? I, I that? swear that is on their menu. There's no way. <laughs> they got they got the, the fucking the, the marinade sauce underneath the bun or marinara for all of our. Uh, Can we get know, a look our, at, oh. into that though? Um, yeah, the chicken is on there, and and there's the mozzarella under the chicken there. But yeah, the mozzarella is under the chicken. I'm gonna say this. Bun. I'll say this right away. They didn't overdo it with the uh, with the sauce on it, which is good. And the sauce color looks like a nice color. It doesn't look like an artificial right, red. It looks a little orange. Start. Okay. So here it is, folks. But wait, is... I thought it was just a chicken sandwich. I never knew it was on a burger patty. Well, it is a, bur a burger patty. It's on two burger no. patties, <laughs> and not just any Bob burger patties. A... Looks like quarter pound burger patties. This sandwich has got to weigh a good pound. This is that a thing's got to be a thousand. So, pounds. so it it's chicken mozzarella. That's not what is on the menu, though, Bob. I feel like you modified it. No, I think this is on the menu, Jody. I think there's two different ones. If I could go back, I would have got the chicken one. But he is still getting well, chicken he's got in there. Chicken and beef. And I do All want right. you to try those baconator fries too, Mikey V. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's just a lot going on here. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it's a burger and chicken and. I tell you what, mozzarella explosion now there in the middle. That is. That yeah. looks nice. That looks really I'll tell you nice. That, much. that does look pretty good. I anyway, know it's pretty good. Wow. <laughs> yeah. <Whoa. laughs> Here we go. Here we Someone go. The this is not cheap. This is not cheap. This is not, this is not cheap, Mozzadell. Cheap oh, Mozzadell right doesn't now. stretch like that. Wendy's not sparing any expense, I don't think, here. For the folks on the audio right here, now Bear Down was a big fan of the chicken sandwich from Burger King. And, and mind you, this is different. It, it really looks a lot better than I thought. Mikey V, talk us through that. Well, I mean, listen. You're not going to be eating much after you eat something like this. I mean, you got to tackle through two quarter pound burgers. But I tell you, the mozzarella distribution looks really good. It's impressive. The mozzarella distribution is impressive. It's covering all areas. Uh, Burger King oh, he's just, never. He's mulling through that. The thing. sauce is not bad. I like, think listen, I I'm like gonna, what I'm, I'm not going to put it on. I'm not going to put it on my Sunday pasta, but it's not bad. I gotta tell you, I, I thought Bert, I thought he would he would just body bag it. So uh, far, it looks like he's enjoying it. it looks By the way, he's he's almost devoured the whole sandwich in three bites. Uh, that is the craziest thing. <laughs> he did that with the chicken. He is absolutely mowing through that thing, man. I mean, that's not a Bob. You said it started. It's not a small burger. That thing. Looks no, this, thing, this has to weigh a pound and a half. 
<laughs> he's almost Bob. It's been less than five bites. He's almost done the whole thing. <laughs> it's, it's pretty impressive, man. It's, <laughs> this guy is a unit, man. This guy is an absolute fucking. You unit. know what? I'd love to train Bear down to do like an <laughs> eating competition, like go into a waffle stack house where you have to eat so many pancakes and just see him obliterate the competition. I love. I, this might sound weird. I love watching him eat. When we were at Rayo's and he was <laughs> yeah. mowing through the pastas, I was in all <laughs> my glory. Now, so Bear down. What we're gonna want is we the the one to ten on on this sandwich in in your opinion here uh, from Wendy's and I do want you to try those baconator fries when you do get a chance but let's hear what the one to ten is gonna be eight point three whoa eight point three wow I gotta <laughs> tell you Wendy wow this is not a, this is not a shining moment for me at all. <laughs> It's just not. It's just not, guys. It's just not. I'm gonna. I'm gonna hear about this from people that I really love and care about. <laughs> the thing about you, Bernard, that I love is in like two and a half, three weeks, you're gonna be shredded again. Oh so when, yeah. No, he yeah, has room he to. Probably, he has room to work with. For I tell sure. you what. I tell you who should watch out in the next two weeks is Paul Swan because Bernard. Well, no time soon. <laughs> no time. Soon. <laughs> now he's got the baconator fries that he's busting out of here. Those too. are very good. Very good. Bobby, there, you know what the heady plays? If you take a little mayonnaise and you drizzle it over the top. Just yeah, to... you've been really experimenting with mayonnaise a lot lately, Joey D. It's something that I've noticed. These baconator fries are very good. They're very good. Yeah, yeah. I've never had them before. I mean, it's exactly what you would think bacon and cheese melted onto French fries would taste like, which is very good. You can't go wrong. And I, 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 I don't think we all are huge Wendy's advocates here, not just because we're scratching and clawing for a sponsorship, but we really are. I, I think that the Wendy's fries don't get enough credit. Are they a McDonald's fries? I put them of at number two not. on my list. Did you put them at two? Yeah, and you body bag me for it. Yeah, I don't think they get the credit they deserve. I don't think they're an elite, elite fry with the other ones in there. But I, to get that out fry. of that chicken sandwich... Now, the jury's out on whether, you know, what you get out of that chicken sandwich. But for Bear Down to go eight, what was it, eight, four? Eight, three. Eight, three on that is Good sandwich. really, really. I thought when I saw the double beef patty with the chicken on top, I thought we were getting low sixes. Now, this sandwich looks impressive. Wow. Yeah, look now, what do we have thing. there? That looks tremendous. <laughs> That's this is the, so the grilled the grill. <laughs> The grilled bacon pretzel buns. <laughs> that looks – now, Now that sandwich, as big as it is, does not hold up to his hand. Where that's a smaller sandwich. Yeah, I mean, look. That looks good, though. That Bob. looks tremendous. I mean, this is this is not like a uh, – this is not like a slider, I can tell you that. This is a full-blown <laughs> yeah. sandwich. And do you like that? What do you got on there? Ladies and gentlemen, we interrupt the Brilliant Dumb Show to let you know that the Brilliant Dumb Show is brought to you by First Person. We all want to turn back the clock. For some, it's for vanity. Others, just to relive those glory days. I know I do. But you can't do that if you don't have your mind and your brain in the right place. I would love to wake up every morning with zero brain fog, a clear mind, and be as energized as I was when I was 22, 23, and you can do that with first person, ladies and gentlemen. I, I'm a big nostalgia guy. I like to think about the good times. I like to have a clear mind, remember things the right way, take care of myself. Thanks to first person, I can take a more active role in my brain's overall health. First person supplements made with functional mushrooms aim to stimulate the body's natural production of specific neurotransmitters that trigger activities like energy, mood, and sleep. Three damn big things right there. Start improving your brain health and cognition with first person. Take it from Bob himself. It's a no-brainer. Get 15% off your first order by going to getfirstperson.com and use code DUMB. That's getfirstperson.com code dumb for 15% off your first order. Again, get firstperson.com code dumb. Start taking care of your brain today. You want a clear mind. You want a clear brain. You can't go wrong with first person. You got your bacon. Looks like Swiss. A couple pickles in there. Uh, uh, pepper. Oh, looks like some type of pepper. Wow. Yeah. That's tell you what. That Here's the deal, man. I, I, I mean, I think <laughs> pretzel bun. Now, well, yeah, now what we're going to have to do is the way we did it last time was Mikey V started 
the trend. He was big on the chicken sandwich. He started the trend. Now, yeah, those Mikey are pickles. B, those are pickles, and that's a really good play. Wow, the, the pickle man. play in the middle is a really good play. Yeah, that, really I mean, that, that one actually, the first burger did not look very satisfying. That one looks really good. Are All you right. would would you be willing even and I know it's hard to do, but to take out the patties and just putting that as a chicken sandwich, would you put that Wendy's chicken sandwich up there in the upper echelon of other chicken sandwiches out in the game, Mikey V? No, uh, no, I don't think I could because I, I don't think it could stand alone. I mean, they'd have to do more to it. Um, it's just a little t- the, the now again, the cheese, I'll say the cheese was whatever kind of cheese mozzarella they used. That was close to like a 10 cheese. You saw the stretch you were getting out of that cheese. Yeah, that was sure not did. some yeah. cheap shit cheese. That was excellent cheese. Mm. But to stand alone, I would think they'd have to bump the patty up because that patty compared to the compared to the burgers that were on there. You know. Yeah. But, and just make sure, by the way, I put some nuggets in there for Dom. Make sure Dom gets his nuggets, okay? <laughs> yeah, right, well, this is a, Mikey V is going through. Me I and Mikey what, B. This is the one time I would tell people don't watch, don't listen to the audio. You got to watch the you, video on you, this you, one. You really do, da. You, you get really. Whole, whole, I mean, Mikey V looks like he's been in a state of depression for about three fucking weeks. Yeah, I'll, I'll not, tell you, I go. Totally I, I've been doing it to where, like, you know, I will. I, I'm good about, you know, I work out all throughout the week. I'll work out Saturday, and then Sunday's the day where I've been cheating and, and letting loose. Me and Mikey V were going back and forth on just how fat we were. He's got the Caesar. Caesar looks oh, pretty good looks too, by the promising. way. I'll tell you Dude. what, man. That Mikey, Caesar you looks. You just gave you. Looks like you're eating more than you did on Christmas Eve. For the <laughs> Caesar, of the seven this, is, this is absolutely <laughs> ridiculous. <laughs> this is what I. You want to hear what I ate yesterday? I sent this to Mikey V. This is no joke. This is disgusting. By the end of the day, I felt awful. But you went to I, an F45 class, no? Not on Sunday though. Sunday's the cheat day. Okay. Full full cheat day. I did a bacon, egg, and cheese bagel. Okay, and after that had a cream cheese bagel, so two bagels. <laughs> then I had Chinese food, place called Dumpling House. It was terrible. Oh, Mikey V sent the that picture. That sounds like a bad name. It was Dumpling awful. House does not sound promising at all. It was so bad, Joe. And dumplings just don't travel sound. well. Is something that I'm really seeing. Yeah. Um, and then I had a Philly cheese steak from Firehouse Subs. How was that? As Mikey V goes into yet another <laughs> sandwich here. This is this is preposterous. This is like this guy's <laughs> this is sandwich number three. Depression <laughs> eating. Compare that to your hand. Let me see the let me see it in your this hand, is, Mikey. This, v. this looks like a slider, this guy. That's why this is only this is a two dollar item. That looks like the handshake Mikey V had with Shaq, which by the way, I didn't know. That that yeah. was Shaq in the photo. Oh, um, yeah. You got to send the photo to ticket to put up on with. Cause, so Bob sends a message to what was it this morning in our Gambler's Digest, and it's just a picture of Mikey V there, and you just see in the bottom left hand corner of him shaking a guy's hand. I had no idea, and I zoomed in, and Bob, remember the screenshot I sent? He's getting body bagged. There's no good way to eat this frosty right now, bro. <laughs> <laughs> None. None. And so I said to I said to Bob, I said, Bob, who is body bagging Mikey V on a handshake? Because the man has like bear paws to begin with. And Bob goes, Oh, it's Shaquille O'Neal. Yeah. Which I had no idea Mikey V you even had a picture with Shaquille O'Neal. Because whenever, oh, yeah. whenever whenever good somebody Jack, very good like, guy. Like to whenever Mikey like needs to reference his size or someone asks like how tall he is or whatever, he'll send the picture of him and Shaq side by yeah. side. How would I never seen this photo before? It's a great photo. <laughs> it's, it's, oh, a, it's even better when you cut off Shaq and you just see the <laughs> hand just completely <laughs> dominating there. Yeah, it's <laughs> you know, Shaq Shaq is a fucking unit, man. He, yeah, you want to you want to talk about a guy who like. He looks like Frankenstein. Like he's so big. Like he's just, trying to block and he's him boxed in the low post. out, bro. And I don't know how anybody, it, especially in his prime when he was really could move, bro. This guy, that's <laughs> like letting I don't know, like a like a like a like a like a like an elephant onto the court. He's he's gigantic. I don't it's know how you do anything. Releasing a fox in the hen house is what it is. Yeah, dude. He, he or that. is massive. Yeah, um, he, he's. He, I'll send it. I'll I'll send it the ticket. I'll have him put up the picture. Mike, it's I patted so him on good. the back, and it felt like I was literally like patting like like a paxidermy, like a, a a big elephant, like a huge elephant. It was just insane. 
in the right. photo too. Where did yeah. you meet him? So it was at a work conference, and he was there as a the work, big represent the work, work conference. conference. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> so he was there for on behalf of the ring company, you know, ring doorbell. Yeah, 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 yeah. He was like Ring's big get. Like he was the face of Ring Doorbell. He I think he still everything. I think he still is. He's big with Ring Doorbell. And like Ring Doorbell was a big vendor at this event. So they actually had Shaq there. It was in uh, Philly. And I met him and uh, he was the nicest guy. But he's originally from Newark, New Jersey, Shaq. Did not really? know that. That's yeah, interesting. So, Shaq, so once I told him, you know, you know, I'm from Newark originally, we bullshitted a little. Great guy. Took took a couple pictures with him. He was funny as shit. Funny as in shit. Fact, the fact that Mikey V is still eating this bag of Wendy's, by the way, is one of the craziest. I don't feel. I, I don't feel this. I don't know. This, this salad. I'm not going to do the salad. I can't. But the salad looks pretty good though. At the same time, he's it done really three sandwiches and half a bacon eater fries. In the and he's going to minutes. another sandwich. What's the next? Sandwich? Oh, oh, he's oh, going back to the now. Okay. 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 Um, by the way, that ring, I think they were actually on Shark Tank, and it was one of the biggest flops for the investors to where they had a chance to invest. Oh, they passed on them? They passed on it, and they all have said that that's one of their biggest passes that they've ever um, You would think had. they would. I'm surprised they would pass on that. Well, also, too, I think them going on to that show definitely kind of skyrocketed as well, which is usually – a lot of times, you know, in the Shark Tank, you see, like – a lot of the ideas suck, but you would think the investors are like, you know, it's not that good or or whatnot. But they, the sharks know that they're now getting the publicity on Shark Tank for it to where it's going to pop up to where it's worth it for them to take a stab on, you know, on some of these things. And oftentimes they're not investing that much money to they're investing what is a hundred grand to Mr. Wonderful. That guy's worth yeah. freaking, you know, a hundred grand to him is like 10 bucks to me. It's nothing. Um, all right, boys, let's, um, Mikey V, we appreciate that going through the gauntlet with that. And yeah, I got a feeling feel he's, he's not done. Um, <laughs> I'll tell you, man, even like the, the fast food and stuff, I love it more than anybody. When you're done with it, you feel like such a piece of shit. A piece of shit. Thanks, Bob. <laughs> I, I will say, Bob, that I, I said this to Bob Bear. I don't know if you agree. When you put on, the, like, there's very few things I feel as confident that are going to hit as well on a story or a post as well as a food review does people go nuts. Like whether you post about a pizza or like I put up the Chinese meal I had on my story, people just start fucking firing out DMS and responses. Everybody has something they want to say about it. It, it does very well. content. I think it's the, um, I think it's the, uh, you know, the common, the common denominator for everybody is food. Everybody, you know, Everyone everybody relate. eats, everybody got to eat, right? Everybody's got to eat. So that common denominator, I think it just, you know, it, it, um, it puts everybody on the same playing field. You like it. I don't like well, it. Why some don't you palates like it? Why are much like more it? refined than others. You would, you would make the claim. Some, some, some palates are much more refined and distinguished. Then so you, I mean, you're obviously describing your own. Palette. That's exactly. That's exactly. hundred percent. No, I, exactly... I, I would say you have a very distinguished uh, palate, Mikey V. I would just say I'm. I like to eat because I'm. Fat. Now I will say Bob is a big foodie and has has come a long way in the last two three years because before <laughs> he he had no idea before. I, and I'm proud not just, of you, Bob. I'm proud of him. He's made. He. I'll take him out and I'll be like, Bob, you want to try this? And he. Full disclosure, he says order everything and he tries. Now, some guys, yeah. you take you take Perez out for oh, dinner yeah, and Perez. forget about it, man. This guy, he's looking the menu before he even goes to the restaurant to see if there's one item that he can have. It is yeah, him wild. and him and him and Dominic are right on the same level. It's of, horrible. Of I, I actually, and not even not even exaggerating, I actually would say that Dominic probably eats more. <laughs> I, I mean, I've seen Dominic eat blueberry pancakes. I mean, I, I actually think he probably would eat more different things than Perez. And that's tough because, I mean, he asked for pizza and mac and cheese every night. So that's 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 <laughs> tough, but I, 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 I don't doubt it. I don't doubt it. Perez, is, uh, his palate is, is interesting. It's interesting. Yeah. Well, Bob said to me, you know, we're going back. I'm going back to L.A. tomorrow. And Bob said, we got to do some dinners. Perez is going to be in town. I said, listen, we can go out, but we're not going to do the fancy dinner. We went out in Boston. Okay, one night to a nice restaurant. Perez put the menu down. He ordered a loaf of bread and a double whiskey. And I'm not joking. <laughs> <laughs> the server looked at him. He's like, I'd like an order of bread and a double bourbon on the rocks, please. I mean, it's just, I wouldn't, it's not, not uh, listen, I love the guy. It's nothing against him, but you don't go out to a fancy restaurant with him. You go 
to a place like Bob. What was the place in Jupiter we we went that he loved that had all? Oh, like, it was like a dive bar, the Brass Ring. Yeah, he loved that. <laughs> yeah, he loved it. He loved it. He it was like the sounds like a Perez place to be honest. <laughs> yeah, the, the Brass, brass Ring. Yeah, that's, isn't that that's classic Perez? With, you know? The Brass Ring. Perfect for Perez. <laughs> Perez is absolutely a cheap date. He's a cheap date. Oh, there's yeah. no, there's sure. no question about it. You don't yeah. need to Turn bring him to this. Channel. You order a large pizza and you're good to go. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Like he'll, <laughs> he'll, he'll, he's staying at, he'll, he's staying on a place for like the next, I think maybe like the next ten days. It's the easiest guy to like. You just have bourbon. I, you just have bourbon ready to go for him. Beer. You, you don't even need water. You have beer ready to go for him, and then he likes. <laughs> He likes the 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 peanut butter filled pretzels. It's the only thing that you got. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know exactly which one. The ones in the and big for clear bagels, tub. When we order bagels. He does a cinnamon cinny raisin with with peanut butter on it. That's all he does. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we interrupt the Brill and the Dump show to let you know that the Brill and the Dump show is brought to you by our good friends over at Athletic Greens. I started taking Athletic Greens because I wanted to better my gut health, have a little bit more energy. I wanted to be bouncing off the walls in a natural way. And that's exactly what the fine folks over at Athletic Greens brought me. So what is Athletic Greens? Well, with one delicious scoop of Athletic Greens, you're absorbing 70 five high quality vitamins, minerals, and whole food sourced superfoods, probiotics, and aptogens to help you start your day right. When you go with Athletic Greens, you simply cannot go wrong. Athletic Greens was created when the founder experienced a ton of gut health issues and ended up on a complicated supplement routine to recover. It cost him a hundred dollars a day, not anymore with Athletic Greens. To make it easy, Athletic Greens is going to give you a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. All you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com slash dumb. Again, that is athleticgreens slash dumb to take ownership over your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutritional insurance. All right, boys, let's um let's get on into our buy and sell segment. Joey D, you could lead us off on the buy or sell. Oh, here. shit, I wasn't ready. Can I... Mikey V. Well, actually, I'll, I'll, I'll buy. And you Go know ahead, what? Man. It it might be an easy buy. And, and bear down, I don't mean to put to throw salt on the wound. But I'm buying Kirby Smart. And not just because they won that game the other day. Bear down referenced it earlier. I've never seen a more brilliant, amazing timeout called in my entire life. He called the timeout. They were down 13 or maybe 10 or something. So you want to save all your timeouts. He sniffed out that a fake punt was coming on fourth and one and was able to sniff it out and call a timeout. And that timeout saved the game because by the time he took the timeout, they did snap it and they would have got the first down and it would have been close to over. It was the most amazing timeout I have ever seen called. Obviously, Georgia went on to win the game. Sorry, Mikey V, but it really was. I've never seen a timeout be so crucial in a moment that doesn't really seem that crucial um, to where I think you got to buy Kirby Smart. I was blown away by that. Uh, Mikey he just v got it off, too. Game. So close. So close Crazy to not getting it off. He sniffed that. And they even showed the replay to where, like, there wasn't anything crazy for the normal viewer to see there and say, okay, I could sniff that they're going to do a, a fake pun. It, it, it was amazing. Yeah. Sorry, Michael. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, like, I really am. I mean, no, you Kirby Smart. Let me say this. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Kirby Smart to me, I prefer him so much more than I prefer a Dabo Sweeney or a Nick Saban. I just think Ooh, Kirby Nick Kirby Saban? Kirby. I'm not saying he's the better coach. I'm saying as a person, like I respect him. I think his likability is a lot higher than Saban and Dabo Sweeney. I just think Kirby Smart seems like a legit. Kirby Smart said at the end of the game, he goes, there's some games that you don't really deserve to win, but you just win. That's what he said about that game. And that's the correct statement. Yes. Ohio State deserved to win that football they game. Better for they sure. didn't. They didn't. But it is what it is. Moving it on. Was, it was such a great post-game interview because everything that he said – you know, he spoke for a couple minutes. Everything that he said was was the absolute truth like in, in what he said. So, yeah, I, I'm buying Kirby tomorrow. I thought that was I like unbelievable. Him a lot, Goodbye. Goodbye. And uh, over to Mikey V as he eats his french fries. 
<laughs> the Baconator fries, they're good. Oh, tremendous. Very good. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to sell uh, the week between uh, Christmas and New Year's. Wow. I'm going to sell it. All right, people enjoy it. And you know what? I get it. You got time off of work. But for me personally, this is like a runaway freight train that's gone completely off the fucking rails. <laughs> and I need it to end. And thank God it ends tomorrow, bro, because I got to get back into routine because I am just uh, this is not good for me. Um, I'm going to I'm going to sell it. It's it's too much. I feel like people fall into like, like, like this week turns into a black hole. At least for me, it does. I went to the gym once, one time I was able to go, but my time management was just so thrown off. Could I have done better? I absolutely could have done better. Did I want to do better? Probably. Uh, did I execute? Absolutely not. I totally flopped. I totally flopped. I blew it this week. I totally what blew it. Now, going on, I man? was able to take the kids out a lot, which I was happy about. Took Dom to the park a lot. We went to to like an amusement park with them. So I'm glad about that. But at the same time, this week for me is a sell. It's got to end. It's got to end. And thank God. It ends <laughs> and the thing is, too, Mikey, that first to work out that you're going to have probably tomorrow oh, morning gonna coming suck off, ass. yeah coming off like a bender like that or just like eating like shit that first workout it's tough because mentally it's just because you you don't feel good when you go to a workout and you already feel good because you worked out a few days prior you feel yep. good that first one that one tomorrow is going to be a bruiser and i didn't help it by any means i hope we get no. a story of the post game of that workout from mikey v i always love oh. those where he's just uh, dripping with sweat. <laughs> I, yeah, it's going to be. I tremendous. really shouldn't even do anything but cardio tomorrow. Nothing else should be on the docket. There should be no weights. It should be an hour on the stairs minimally tomorrow. Yeah. One hour. <laughs> By the way, the, the fact that Mikey V can go, and I, I've said this to him before, the fact that he can do the Stairmaster for one hour, you got to be a little bit mentally unstable to climb stairs for an hour. I mean, there's some machines that you can do. Like mentally you, unstable. Maybe, not mentally unstable, but you have to be a different type. That mentally unstable isn't the word. You you got to be a different breed. You got to be, be built different. Go. There's no machine. No machine is exciting. That's the most boring machine of them all. Some people do it for 20 minutes, and that's a grind. To do the Stairmaster from one, for one hour that's that's psychotic to me that's wild great work that's tomorrow. a different animal bob that's a different animal that's it a man is. who wants it more than the rest of the field yeah yeah you got that right yeah, he eats a, bacon I was the bacon this is fries. this is really bad bob no really indeed bad. for the buy or sell all right um i i want so i i i was torn i wanted to buy the packers i bought the packers a couple weeks ago this team is is on a freight train to the playoffs which they will make but i'm gonna buy something different which i don't think gets enough credit and i think it only comes out once in a while i'm gonna buy the bow tie i gotta tell you i i was opposed to wearing the bow tie this new year's eve i've never felt more dapper in a long time than with there's a little you just a white shirt with the suit, you throw the bow tie on it, and it just completes the ensemble with radiating fucking success. And you look like you're just a cut above everybody else. I don't think the bow tie gets enough love. I don't know. Oh, uh, would you stop <laughs> looking at me? You know, this guy is sick and twisted. That's Pee Wee Herman. I know who it is, Mikey V. <laughs> you, you didn't think you looked like Bella Lugosi a little bit? I thought I looked fed. A lot of people I mean, Bella Lugosi was a fucking movie star. You should be happy. Yo, that that story that he put on yesterday of Dracula and you side by side was one of the funny. I mean, it was absolutely more so too with the music that he put wow. on in the, in the background of it. <laughs> <laughs> Mikey V is going down, ladies and gentlemen. He is going. This fucking guy, bacon, a bacon bit caught in my throat. He's in a bad way. <laughs> he really you sound is. Like you're in a tunnel right now. <laughs> yeah, Mikey. Uh, anyways, I you know I like the. I don't know, Bob. Have you ever worn a bow tie? Bob, can you guys Bob? hear me? Yep. Yes. Oh, okay. I, I thought I. I thought. Were you talking to me or are you talking to Mikey? Yeah. The question was, was have you, you ever worn, ever a, worn, a, bow worn a bow tie? My my answer is he probably has at a wedding where it was pre-tied. There's no way Bob knows how to tie a bow tie. Zero that's, percent. Chance. That's yeah. That's very much correct. <laughs> no, you know how to tie a bow tie, Joe? Sister's wedding. That's that's what he was saying, and it was pre-tie. It course. was it was pre-tie. Yeah. You know how to tie oh, a bow tie, Joe? Is this? The snap-ons, I, I had to watch. I have to watch YouTube things to know how. So to, did I, I to learn it, but I've I learned it like about six, seven years ago. 
and I like it, but my wife, for whatever reason, hates me in a bow tie. She hates it. Really? She why? It like I feel I, like you pull it off with ease. I wonder I, I why. Think I, do. I wonder her thoughts on that. Why she's, she's not, not a just... fan of the bow tie? She thinks really? it's a doofus move. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I will tell. Well, I, I like I, I, I like the bow tie, Joe. I'm a fan of the bow tie. I, I just am. think, listen, we wear ties all the time. You know, yeah. why not mix it up? One, I don't say wear it all the time, but once in a while, it looks dapper, and all you need is a white crisp shirt, and that's it. It just completes the ensemble to the, even the point where you take your your jacket off and you just have the trousers, the white pants. You could do suspenders if you really want to go nuts, but even without the bow tie looks really good. You know, it's nice to a tuxedo shirt where you get the, the, uh, yeah. Well, the the, the, well, the cufflinks, but then the studs instead of buttons. Oh you get the, yeah. The studs that's, down. Nice. that's, that's, that's nice. See, that's Bob, a whole nother I level. See, Bob, I think Bob would, Bob, you got a good figure. You would pull that off real good. You do have a good figure, Bob. I agree. That's interesting to say, but he's not wrong. Bob nice sent me a photo today of what was the photo? It was me and Bob from a while back. And I don't know what Bob looked like. He was shredded in this photo. It was, Bob, you know it, what the photo you sent me? It was us, it was us doing a, a promo together for our own beer, the brilliantly <laughs> dumb beer. It was the biggest oh, yeah, hack job of all. Two months. <laughs> Yeah, I how was me. that beer? How was that beer? I never, I never bought any. Eh, well, uh, not on the market anymore. If that's, <laughs> yeah, if that's it's, any indication, oh, it's no longer it was available. For the sale. whole thing of that was a fucking disaster. We thought Bob we'd be the next that we happy becoming Anheuser Busch. I thought that was it. Yeah, I really did. I thought that we was finally it. made it. Yeah. <laughs> gave bob a movie sadly he he didn't watch it last week which bear down was very disappointed with and he watched it the next day bear down he I, hated I it he told me he hated it he told me i couldn't get that it. it's a good movie i don't know he said it looks like it was filmed in the 1950s okay so, so, <laughs> so yeah. bob now is a fa- is is you know bob is a, a critic of the cinematography used in no the no no well so here's the deal i i, I said that i was going to be honest with you guys i did i did watch seven <laughs> I think there's a misconception. I'm I'm begging you guys to give me something that's gonna hit. Seven to me was a it was a tough watch. It it was like the the old school like Godfather camera, and it just it was tough to get through. It it really it just it might have been a bit much uh, maybe in hindsight maybe, but I don't. My whole question is I'm questioning the process for how these movies are watched, Joe, because I think he's locked into his cell phone through the whole movie. You can tell me no all you want, Bob. I just don't know if the dedication is really there to sit there and try and not go on the phone, which is difficult. I find it difficult myself. I, and and I, I'll be honest, it's it's hard suggesting movies because he's so refined to a certain genre. He told me that yesterday he doesn't like unrealistic movies. These were his words. He doesn't like unrealistic movies. He likes a realistic movie that's a feel-good story. Yeah. There's and, not and many movies like that because movie people go to the his... movies for the total opposite of that. They go to see unrealistic Good things. Will That's why hunting. it's a fucking movie. Goodwill Hunting is realistic, and I felt yes, it is. great it after is. after I felt great. So you know what movie I told him yesterday, Joe? What? Guy Ritchie film Snatch with Brad Pitt. And Jason oh, that's a good Stabler. movie. That's Great a movie. really good movie. Great movie. And action I from beginning another, to start. I was going to suggest another Brad Pitt movie, which was Fight Club, which I guarantee you he's no, never I didn't won. like that. No, no, I've watched it. I didn't like that. Do you know what the movie I actually did have on the slate and he's seen it and he liked it? I was going to suggest Limitless. Which, by the way, is not realistic at all. But it's all right, a, so it's, Bob likes Bob saw it. I, he likes I, it. I think there's a misconception with the Bobby Blockbuster bit that, and I appreciate you guys trying to get something for me. There's a misconception that it has to be so fast and that I have to be drawn in right away. There's a lot of movies out there that I really do. I mean, um, Interstellar is one of my favorites, and that's that's not very. Yeah, but that is so far gone. We suggested and we want tried watching. He tried watching Inception. Bear down. He lasted fifteen minutes. He didn't yeah, it like wasn't it for me. Yeah, yeah but... I mean that, that's that's. I have a no. movie bear down. I don't know if if you agree that I think would be hard for Bob not to like. Okay, hear me out here. Kaiser saw say the usual suspects, classic classic thriller awesome movie bob there's no chance you've seen that movie before have you mm-mm, mm-mm. so ben unless you have a better suggestion well, I... 
Bear down and put put snatch to the table. So I want it to be something that you guys okay, I, I have both no, agree with. You know, snatch. Again, see, the thing is, it's kind of filmed in a different way, almost like a British style. I it is. I, it's British indie, but I mean, like, I feel like everyone I've ever spoken to in my life loves that movie. I, I've never met one person who told me that's not a well, good movie. Bob Bob breaks all the mold. I mean, it's, yeah, he does. He does. He does. How he many does. people have you watch who hates Godfather? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yep, no, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. I, even no. if you guys could give me something like um like Hardball, or you ever see the movie Hardball? Yeah, but Bobby, it can't just be a, a sports movie every time. You gotta you gotta break the mold and start like dying. I'm trying. I'm trying, Joe. I understand. I, that's well, that's why we have the segment. Really, we have yeah. the segment, and it's it's you're doing fine, and you. But you I need just to want tell me to that start firing movies you like. You guys don't have just like a no brainer, like a Goodwill Hunting, or just like a. I mean, Bob, we fucking said The Godfather. I mean, who doesn't like The Godfather? I think there's people out there that don't like The Godfather. Yeah, I think you'd be hard pressed to find them. But anyway, I mean, if you went the top top movies of all time, a lot of them I wouldn't suggest because Bob. He's never right. gonna watch fucking Citizen Kane. He's never gonna That's watch what Casablanca. I'm They're not. They're not like movies that I would even suggest. Could Casablanca. you imagine Bob trying to watch I would never sit... suggest Bob to watch right, Casablanca. Right. Could you imagine him trying to watch Gone with the Wind? No. <laughs> like, no. Like, like no. He doesn't seem like a, hey, you know what? This Clark Gable really doesn't do it for me. <laughs> <laughs> or 12 Angry Men. Yeah, no. Yeah, right. No, no. Um, what, but yeah, it might let's... be, maybe we got to go with something like, how about Scent of a Woman, Joe? Do you think you would like Scent of a Woman? with? Or have uh, you watched Pretty Woman? Pretty I like woman. Pretty Woman. I like Pretty Woman. Okay. okay, that's good. That, that's yeah. a smart thing. No, I like Pretty Woman. You know which one I thought I, he should watch is the uh, is the one with um, oh my God, we're in the diner and she's doing the moaning scene with uh, Billy Crystal and. Uh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah, a yeah. great movie. I I, yeah. I watched. I think I watched this where he takes her on a trip. They uh, they do a road trip together. What's that movie called again? When Harry Met Sally. Yes. How, when Harry Met yeah, Sally. Yeah, I, I saw that movie. recently actually. Okay, well, what are we going to give him to watch? I, By the way, I wouldn't give him, like, The Lord of the Rings or anything no, like that. No, too long. Or, let's or even do Star something. Wars. Can we do something? New? I mean, look, I'm not going to – beggars can't be choosers, but can we do something that's, like, newer, that's not, like, a old – because Bear Down wanted Snatch, and I even just watched, like, the title of it because I was going to start watching it. it I'm, I, I worry that Snatch has the seven effect where it's just kind of old. It's not even seven was filmed in the late nineties. Yeah, what? Snatch like, was, was like two thousand. Long time ago. It's almost twenty over twenty years ago. Oh, what? Yeah. Bob, have you ever watched Back to the Future? I don't think it would be for me. <laughs> <laughs> it's I, it's definitely unrealistic. It's I definitely really, unrealistic. So that automatically chops it off least, the list. It's one of the best movies ever. I would love him to just at least try. I think Bob may like Scent of a Woman. It's it's realistic. It's got a it's it's a feel good. Uh, Al Pacino Pacino. Is, Pacino plays a blind retired uh, army lieutenant, and he's represented by uh, uh, Chris O'Donnell. You got Philip Seymour Hoffman is in it. Let's, I, let's I make think, that the one. That's Santa. I movie. think Bob, you may like that movie. I think you may. Okay, so there it is for the Bobby Blockbuster bit. Um, it is for the Bobby Blockbuster segment. Scent of a Woman will be the next movie. Right now, we are 0 for 2, 0 for no, 3. No, Godfather, we didn't three. hit. Ratatouille. Ratatouille, we didn't hit. And now 7, we didn't hit. I mean, so, 0, I, 0 for 3. We and by the way, the... Mikey B, we're going across the board here. We, we're doing, I mean, I don't know. So, Scent of a Woman now is a drama. It's, I, I want genre. you guys to hit. I really, really do. I, I well, we want like you to hit. We want you to start watching. I know. People. Cinematography. Uh, All um, right, boys. Um, so there's Bobby Blockbuster. Now let's head on over. Uh, we got a top five, and this top five was brought to you by Mikey V. And yeah, I think this one is an absolute banger. I really do. Um, it's Mikey V's top five, but we're going to be doing this top five um, death row meals. Okay. Now, with that being said, and we probably should have clarified this before. Is it the way that I did mine was a meal and from a specific place of where I? Oh no, I didn't do specific place. I didn't do specific place either. But okay, I, I mean, I'm still gonna say where that's I fine. would want yeah, it from. Fine. I don't yeah, think I mean, it makes more in depth. I yeah. just gave the items that I would that I would take. Okay. Um. All right. Let's. Uh. Mikey V. It's your top five. So let's start with Mikey V. 
I think I just had a death row meal. To be honest, with you. <laughs> I think that was like that felt like my last meal. Um, all right, number five, I would go with Mexican food in general. I would go burritos, tacos, to be specific. Uh, I think you know, obviously, you're not worried about the aftermath there, so why not just pull the trigger on it uh, and just go to go to town on like a couple huge burritos, tacos, and just go absolutely wild with it. Rice, beans, the whole nine. Give me Mexican at five. Number four. A uh, classic meal that always hits right and you always feel like you really shouldn't be eating it too often, similar to what I just had. Just give me like a, a huge, big cheeseburger with the works on it and French fries. Give me a cheeseburger and fries at number four. Waffle fries, waffle fries probably specifically. Um, and the cheeseburger, big old cheeseburger, double probably bacon. Again, the works. Number three, gigantic oversized bone-in tomahawk steak. With all the fixings on the side, give me the cream spinach, the scalloped potatoes, a steakhouse meal. I would say a steakhouse meal, but specifically a big obnoxious tomahawk with the bone in. Number two, a meal that just always, no matter what, it, it always hits, but it's always, again, one of those meals where it's like, you know, I really shouldn't be doing this, but pizza and wings. Give me pizza and wings. Um I would probably go with, you know, some type of a, a regular plain pie and then a specialty pie on top of that. I could take down the two pies. I, I probably, I would be pretty confident. And then just regular Buffalo wings on the side. And then number one, I did it to myself yesterday. Um, and it's, it's the number one wow. death row meal for me always is just give me a Chinese spread. Give me the egg rolls. Give me the boneless spare ribs. Give me the house special fried rice. Give me the lo mein. It looks fantastic, the, give, by give the me way. The, give me the general sows. Give me the, give me the chicken and broccoli. Give me it all. I want it all. Wonton I, soup, I, the dumplings. Give me everything. Give me. I all. know a lot of people that really love Chinese. My dad does it every Sunday. I I mean. Oh, does he do it every Sunday? Wow. Every Sunday they do Chinese. That's yeah. awesome. That's yeah. awesome. I wish I lived in a house like that. I can't do that because I would just. I feel like I would just blow up. I have no discipline. I just no, order. but for once a week. I mean, Chinese isn't the worst thing for you, right? I mean, the way I was... order it, it is. <laughs> yeah, I've never met somebody who loves Chinese food the way Mikey V I, loves. I, it, I love it almost as much as he. It's it's but, unbelievable. But for a it's, so good, Joe. Meal, it's, it's so good, It's so good. It's so good. It's that... such a guilty pleasure, bro. It's There's such a guilty when you're pleasure. You're feeling down. That kind of picks you up quite like a good fucking Shanghai noodle and some sweet and sour pork. I tell you what. All right. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I mean, that's so passionate. Man, I there really you am. I really am. There um, you have it. Uh, is it uh, me now, Bob? I'll I'll go ahead and let it rip. Um I went look, Mikey V went a little more um I don't want to say bar food, but like uh you know, that that was like a a very football Sunday type lineup um for Mikey V. I I mixed it up a little bit. Um, number five, mind you, I did places too, and I'm not just saying it because I love them. The chicken Milanese at Rayo's, but I do the Caesar salad on top, um, is, is one of my favorite things. So chicken Milanese, but with the substitute, the Caesar salad on top of it, croutons, the whole nine yards. Or ticket trying to find a, an image for that is going to be really tough. I love a nice pr- uh, pounded breaded chicken. Um, it, it is so good. And then number four probably Joe's pizza. I mean, the one in New York is definitely goaded. It's very similar. The one that we have out here. Um, it, it pizza is one of the best things in the world. It, it really is. It just, it hits so good. Um, number three, Taylor ham, egg and cheese, add the potatoes on it from alpha bagel, um, in New Jersey specifically. Um, one of the greater things, I mean, one of the best hangover foods you could, I look forward to being hang- hung over just to have that sandwich is so good. It really brings you back to life. Um, number two, there's a place me and Joe go. Um, I mean, any type of, of porterhouse or ribeye, a uh, grill on the alley. I put as one of our favorite steakhouses out here. Um, I think you got to have steak on there. And then number one, me, Joe, and Perez went there in Miami. The place is iconic, and it's so good. I could eat a billion of them. Joe Stone Crab, they have their stone crabs, and they're pretty much already crapped for you. The only thing I – the only other seafood that I would prefer over is like king crab, the ones where you could just peel. You don't have to do all the work. At Joe Stone Crab, they have unbelievable home fries – you don't have to do much work to the to the crab, the sides with it at all. 
Um, give me that at one. And uh, with that, we'll send it over to Joey D. This this is it's hard because I mean there's so many things you could do, but I think you guys touched on some good ones. Um, at number five, I'm going to do something that you guys didn't put down. I thought maybe Bob would include it. Give me a big old sushi platter with all different side styles of sushi and different things. Uh, you know, maybe some chicken teriyaki on there and so. I love sushi. I, you do a huge platter. Just give me a big thing of fucking wasabi and some soy sauce and let me have at it. I'll, I'll do that at number five. Uh, at number four, I think that the whole cheese pizza is a great play. I really do. But um, what, what is so funny? Because I'm picturing you on death row and if they let you have your cell phone posting pictures of, well, last, last meal today, going down with the sashimi shit. Top six? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> put on his IG story before he bites the big one. Oh, uh, I do culinary reviews from the cell. Yes. Um. Oh, yeah, so number four, I'll do, uh, give me a whole pizza. Uh, I, again, I want like one of those Star Tavern style cheese pizzas you like that? that I had, the New Jersey like New York Star style. Tavern. Star Tavern's pie. great pie. It's a great pie. Eight big slices, and let me just go to town on that. Just run amok. Um, at number three, number three, I'm going to have to do, oh, this is where it gets really tough, gentlemen. It gets very, very tough. Number three, I'll do Surf and Turf. Give me a big old ribeye and a lobster tail. You, you mentioned the porterhouse or the tomahawk. I think give me a bunch of sides. I'm a huge advocate for the cream spinach. You know, maybe some Parmesan truffle fries throw in there. Could be the difference. Um, at maybe number two. We can crab gnocchi. Number two, I'm going to do Chinese. It's it's right there for me, Bear Down. And I, so good. I know I have been blessed being back in Vancouver. I've had Chinese like multiple times world in the renowned. last week and a half. It is world renowned. Chinese like, food capital of the world. Fuck Beijing. <laughs> Ever been to Vancouver? It's, it's, it is. I mean, I've forgotten how good Chinese food is here. It is unbelievable. I'll, like I said, like you said, Mikey, if you give me a whole plethora, a nice variety Give me some chicken chow mein, maybe some pork fried rice. Give me, you know, the the the, the beef shank, you know, the beef and broccoli. Yeah. Uh, I'll do. Give me a nice spread. I want to run mock some egg rolls to start. Yes. Spring roll action. Yes. And then at number one, I I'm obviously biased Italian. Give me a homemade lasagna and some chicken cutlets. I just cannot. I can't imagine a better way to send me off to the electric chair than with a big old fucking pounded out chicken cutlet <laughs> and a homemade lasagna from Nona. It's that just as good. As yeah, I will say something that that I would have liked to get on the list. I just didn't know where to put it. Like any chicken cutlet, like a chicken cutlet sub with oh. anything on top of it. Chicken cutlets is another oh, one. You did where... the chicken milanese. It's kind of yeah, that's true. Yeah, you can make I that your honorable mention. The yeah. chicken cutlet, you can do it. You could do it either like a, a, a parm, a chicken parm. You could do just a chicken cutlet. You could do chicken milanese. You know, uh, there's just so many ways you can make it delicious. It's it's undefeated. Yeah, there is a lot of things. It's a very versatile thing. That's very true. Chicken cutlet, you could do anything with. You really can. I could even eat just a chicken cutlet just, just flat out. Just and by the way, alone. you can eat a chicken cutlet cold right out of the fridge and it still tastes good. Sure can. Sure can. Um, gentlemen, on, honorable mention, I will I would probably the thing that I didn't get on there was was cheeseburger, but chicken cutlet sandwich, like a sub sandwich, chicken cutlet sub sandwich. That's what I'm going honorable mention. My wife makes a um a pasta dish where it's uh like a garlic and oil pasta with crumbled hot sausage and peas. And it is for whatever oh. reason, for whatever reason, I could eat more of that pasta pasta than I can any other type of pasta in the world. Like I could down a pound and a half of that by myself, maybe two pounds. If really, if I had the opportunity, I just go bowl after bowl with red seed pepper and some fresh grated cheese on top. It is my favorite pasta dish on the planet. She makes it. That's got to be on for my honorable mention at the very least. Probably should have made the top five. Hoping that doesn't come back to bite me. Probably will. Also, uh, Mikey, can, for next episode, can you let us know? Can you ask Holly what, like, what she doesn't like with the bow tie? I'm curious. Not that I disagree. I'm just curious why she doesn't. Why you she don't doesn't like it on me? I don't know why. I'd yeah. like to see a picture of you with the bow tie, and we can judge for ourselves if maybe you pull it off. Yeah, yeah I'm sure she's yeah, got yeah. a good reason behind you it. I'm just curious your, uh, what, 
what Pick it up is. Your honorable mention, Joe, and I'll try and find it. Uh, for honorable mention, I, I'm with Bear Down. Um, I love me some good Mexican. I'd love a, a big thing of loaded nachos with you know all That's everything on top of it, and maybe some tacos you throw in there, or like a you know an, uh, a wet burrito. That that is. Uh, I tell you what, well, I can't see the bow tie. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah. That's a good look. Holly looks very happy there. Yeah. Didn't like the bow tie. I caught a lot of <laughs> flack about the bow tie. Okay. Maybe because it was a pink one. Maybe maybe she so thought. So what? It, so what? Yeah. I'm saying maybe she yeah. thought it, if you did the traditional black, maybe she would have been more of a fan. I, I have a little pizzazz to me, Joe. I you like do. To I, 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 I'm not, I, I personally love it. I'm just trying to think why she wouldn't yeah. like it. Yeah, yeah, I'll yeah, get maybe, to the bottom maybe, of it. Maybe, maybe pink's a little obnoxious. Maybe it is. <laughs> Maybe it is. I mean, just wear a fucking black. I mean, we don't gotta. I think the bow tie's uh, fancy hey, Bear Down, enough. Don't worry. He'll ask you to tie it for him if he had to put one on. Yeah, it won't be pink, though. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> no. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, fellas, happy new year. Damn good one ahead. We will get the Brilliantly Dumb Show to the charts. Starts right here. We are out of the tech uh, genre. We've been moved <laughs> over to the comedy genre. Yeah, That's good big for news. us. Big we, news. We love you. We appreciate you. That's another edition of the Brilliant Dumb Show. We will see you next time, fellas.